going down to Tide Mills uh, and we're going to have a go pushing the shrimp there and see if there's any shrimps out there. And to be quite honest with you, the tides are all wrong for this, um, so we might not have any joy, in which case this video will never make it uh, onto the uh, YouTube platform. But obviously if we do catch something, if we do get some stuff, um, or you know, it's an interesting um, film, then, then I will put it out. It's cloudy, it's not windy, uh, it's not particularly warm. It's nine degrees C actually according to the outside thermometer, so it ain't bad, it's not bad. Um, and we're going down to Tide Mills again. I think we're going down to Tide Mills quite a lot at the moment. Of course the, the point being is it's still my local beach. Um, I'm not shoving any further afield. But yeah, we'll see how we get on. Well, here we are, down the beach. Got my shrimp net, got my waders. Just need to get kitted up and we'll be in the water. So three, two, one, boom, boom. There we go. Got my wet the uh, waders on and we've got the net made up. So just a quick talk about the net. Um, yeah, it's something I made myself, a bit of, bit of wood, um, some netting, and a frame. And it works pretty well. I haven't used it for a little while now, so it'll be interesting to see if it stands up to the rigours of this. Uh, and basically, essentially, what we do is we push that along the bottom. The front rail here, um, being pushed along the bottom, disturbing the shrimps. Shrimps swim up over the top and into the net. You see I've got a GoPro on it, so hopefully we're going to get a bit of footage of what's going on on the bottom. But having said that, looking out there, the water's really murky, so it'll be interesting to see if we get any footage or not. But uh, that's the idea. I'll put a head cam on now, so um, we can film from my point of view. Um, but yeah, let's get on with it. Working a plough, we're going to walk backwards and forwards along this beach here, find out different depths and see what we pick up. The tides are wrong for this, to be truthful. You really want a longer tide than this. Um, so we might not get much. Get much. Anticipate we'll get to see some li interesting little fish though. Um, yeah, we've got a little flat fish here. Interestingly enough, you, you get a load of little tiny turbot. Um, quite often. You get a lot of weaver fish as well and one of the things I've not brought along today is a glove. So yes, you do need a glove. So we'll have to wick them out by picking them up by the tails and hope they don't get spiked. But that's the plan. It's turning into quite a pleasant morning. There's a few patches of blue up there. Um, enough blue to make a sailor's t-shirt uh, as my old granny used to say. Um, yeah, that's not too cold. It's all right, but it's going to be a bit colder than this. So that's what we're going to be doing. And if we get some brown shrimp, we'll have shrimps for our breakfast. Yeah, a nice shrimp omelette. Oh, we don't count your fish till they're caught, that's what they should say, but you should say, isn't it? But uh, yeah, shrimp omelette. Mmm. Taste it now. And then this afternoon, I'm hoping we're going to go out and have a look at some mullet. Steve, we're going to go and see his mullet phenomenon that occurs near where he lives. Yeah, great days. I love this time of the year. Clocks change, clocks change next weekend. And then suddenly we get a life, don't we? We get we've got evenings, we can do things in the evening. Fantastic. Spring has sprung. Start doing some wildlife filming as well. Uh, yeah. So, no more ado. Let's carry on and concentrate on doing this. I'm shrimping. Shrimping? Shrimps, yeah. Oh, okay. 
Are you going swimming here? Can I just advise you, there's an awful lot of weaver fish here. Yeah, I would, yeah. Well, the water clarity looks a bit better, so if there is stuff down there, hopefully the underwater camera is getting it. Well, one good thing, I, my waders, which have been sitting in the, in the garage with a lot of my other stuff for 20 years, haven't picked up any holes in that time. At least I'm not noticing any cold, wet legs yet. I think we're going to keep going until we get to the jetty. Then we'll lift the net and see if we've had any result. I say it might be the wrong time of the year. I can't remember if it was always before Easter or after Easter we used to go. I had a feeling it was before Easter. After Easter, there's too much weed. And there is the east arm uh, of New Haven Harbour coming up quite close now. People fishing on the end of it. Uh, and uh, can't see, apart from that one sus suspect, but it might just be a stain on the net. I'm not seeing anything. Water clarity is a lot better now though. That's really good. It's really good. Get a lot of weaver fishing here as I said. Um, oh, I hope I've got some shrimps because I've really sold myself on the idea of a shrimp omelette for me breakfast. It's quite a few years since I've done this so this might have changed. But there is life in the sand here because we came down and we saw all the lugworm casts and razor clams and what have you the other day, didn't we? So, so the, the beach is still alive. The thing that's working against us is the tide. So you probably want a much bigger tide than this. I don't know what time it is. The bottom of the tide's about half nine, so we've probably still got a bit of tide to go out. So we'll get to the arm, we'll lift the net and see what we've got, maybe have a little rest and then push back. Give the cameras a rest as well. Yeah, this video is good. I can actually see the front bar now. Oh, God, the camera's going to be getting that. Water clarity is not so good now, now we're getting nearer to the arm. Push it all the way in. Alright, the proof of the pudding should be very soon. I got a feeling we haven't got any. Oh, I've got a little flatfish, I can see that. There was a little flatfish in there, it's not swum out. What have we got? Not a shrimp. Oh no, we have got some. Look at that, we have got some. And we've got some little fish as well. We've got some, we haven't got a lot. But my, my omelette's looking good. There was a little flatfish in there, I saw it, but I think it swam out the front of the net. Yeah, so we have got a few there. Got a few little tiny uh, fry as well. And we've got some of these little Jellies as well. Whew. Right, so I have a little breather. Um, I'm going to tide in 16 minutes. Uh, so we'll uh, push out 
I'm going as deep as I can get, or as de deep as I dare, push back to where we started. And off we jolly well go. Water clarity is really good here. Weird, isn't it? As when we came down, it was quite murky, but it seems to have cleared. You can see where the water clarity is. bank here you can see see the murk in the water I'll see the net disappear in a minute yeah, it's getting murky and then we're gone oh here's the first little weaver fish that. Let's get him, get rid of him. Don't want to get spied by him. See the little black flag over on his back? That is the poisonous spine. Now they sit just buried with those spines mine sticking out the sand so you tread on one of those and you're in a whole world of pain that's only a little one obviously you never know those little ones might be like small snakes they are actually more poisonous than the big ones French actually, the, the greater weaver, which is a big version of it, apparently nice to eat. I don't see why not. I mean obviously you're not gonna eat the spines. The fish has got to be venomous like that to protect itself because it's good eating to protect itself from predators. So it's a trade-off, isn't it? Drone up, you can see there's like little patches of cloudy and patches of clear. When I'm doing my cast cam, it's I've got to try and pick the clear spot to cast into. Although I have noticed actually on the videos that, that obviously the clouds pass through. And my mate Craig said he was going to come down digging worms today. Don't think that's him. Fork. I don't think they get much joy with a fork and we saw Paul digging with his little spade this way to go. 
Craig? Teams are down here making sandcastles, they're not catching any worms. And these ladies are down here after razor clams. Hi. There you go. <laughs> so what, what's your names? Rose and Stacey. And where are you from, Rose and Stacey? Just over in Brighton. Cool, excellent. Right, well. Cheers, guys. So I just made this out of a bit of uh, pine from B and Q. So just drop down out of the way. Pulls out. The rest just rolls up. Got some aluminium bits in the corners to make the side skirt. The net that I got from Sundries, I think. Try and keep all the bits together. So the screw goes back through there so we're not moving. What did we get today? Well, we got brown shrimps. We didn't get a load, but certainly enough to go in my omelette. So uh, that's what I'm having for breakfast. Brown shrimp omelette, freshly caught. Don't think you can get better than that. Right, right so shrimp omelette. Here we go. Get the shrimps in that water and that oil. What oil?
Stir them around a bit. Get some spring onions in there. And the egg. Spread that about. Like the shrimps are pre-boiled. Um, got the experts on in the background. So the shrimps are pre-boiled, peeled, took longer to peel than to catch them. And shrimp omelette, yay! I think I've earned this, I'm starving. So let's have a look, a bit of chilli mayo on there. And away we go. So it's basically eggs, spring onions, and shrimps. Mm, mm, mm. What do you think about it, Billy Bob? Yeah, so you didn't get any, did you?